Hello and welcome to this week's episode of CBTV. The historic Boston Marathon was marred by tragedy this week when two bombs were detonated near the finish line. Now at this stage the reports are that three people have been killed, including an eight-year-old boy, and more than 170 people have been wounded. The Chief of the Emergency Services at Massachusetts General Hospital said this is the sort of carnage you expect to see in war. Well that would be because we are at war. We're at war with terror and those who hate freedom and want to see the dismantling of Western values. Their latest target has been the world's oldest annual marathon, which is now going to be remembered for all the wrong reasons, including the horrible scenes of the bomb's aftermath. Now the Boston Marathon is regarded as one of the more challenging events to complete and for this reason it draws participants and spectators from all over the world. And when the event was first run in 1897, 18 people entered the race. This year there were more than 27,000 participants. It's also been reported that 153 Australians were registered to take part and many more were expected to be part of the crowd. Thus far, there have been no reports of Australian fatalities or injuries, and I hope that this figure does not change. It is a devastating conclusion to what should have been a great achievement and a fantastic memory for all of those involved. And because of this senseless act of violence, this day in the future will be tainted by grief and horrendous memories for the people of Boston and those who are visiting the city for one of the world's best known races. My thoughts and prayers are with all those affected by these horrific attacks, and I know I share with you the hope that the, those responsible will be swiftly brought to justice. Thanks for watching this episode of CBTV. I'm Corey Bernardi.